So far, so good. I just received these today and went right out back to try them out. As you can see from my pictures I had the old wide inserts that wear down and push in over time and ultimately allow the metal bottoms to scrape on my patio. Once these scrape and wear the paint off they rust. I bought these to hopefully stop that. I wire brushed the insides really good and then I sprayed a coat of rust stopping primer. In trying not to put too much paint on the bottom inside since these are a very snug fit. I will update my review once they are all installed and we sit on the chairs for a while. These were very hard to install, tried all the reviews suggestion, rubber mallet, heating etc. My husband finally tried using two opposite clamps and tightening them both slowly. Worked like a charm. Must be a nice margin on these. They look good and were not difficult to install. I tapped them in easily with a hammer on a set of four 1990 vintage metal chairs. A bit of difficulty with an old metal table. Had to cut four slots as another reviewer suggested. I cut the slots where there were small bumps, either a remnant of the manufacturing process or perhaps there to make them fit more snugly. The bumps were in the way and once the bumps were gone, the plastic feet tapped in with no problems. Too soon to say anything about durability. Got an extra one in the package, I guess by mistake. I tried fitting the glide using a rubber mallet and it won't go in because the leading edge is not tapered like the old one. Instead of returning it I have to try everything I can think of to make it work. So I put a couple of notches on opposite sides of the glide and used clamps to nudge them in until I see no gaps and then I release the clamps. I'm hopeful that the glide would stay as I have to do the rest of the chairs. Update, I finished installing the glides to our two wrought iron benches and four wrought iron chairs and installation is faster using a couple of channel locks. Fit perfectly and now furniture glides easily on the deck. I'm very happy with these inserts to replace ours which were 15 years old. The fit is very snug, which it needs to be in order to stay put. Just be ready to spend some time and finesse to get them installed. I can't speak for the durability, but it seems they are a quality item and will last. Install tips. If there is rust in the pockets of the chair legs, no amount of pounding and cussing will let the new mount move into place. I recommend getting a cone-shaped grinder drill insert like I have in my photo. If you run this around the inside after removing the old insert, it really works well to get it ready to drive the new insert in. If yours have no rust, then you may not need this. Prior to inserting the new pad, spray some silicon lubricant into the pocket. Do not let the new insert turn sideways when putting it in. It must be inserted evenly. On most of them, I was able to insert it part way, then use my hands to press it in as far as possible. Once it was mostly in, but even, I drove it home with a rubber mallet. Take your time and give yourself a chance to develop your own technique. Once you do, you can make decent time on the project. I installed 32 of these on 8 chairs in about 40 minutes. Quite possibly the most satisfied product I have purchased with Amazon. They fit perfect and now I'm in well on the way to restoring some old furniture that has been destroying the deck over the years. Including a before and after shot of the table legs. Chairs are all finished. I ordered these to replace the original inserts for the wrought iron patio furniture that I just refinished. I had cleaned the inside of the feet with a small wire brush on a drill before I primed and repainted. Click link in description for more reviews.